What's going on, guys? I hope y'all are having a great day out there today. Guys, we're going to do a little shop work today and doing some servo upgrades to a couple of my favorite bashers. And guys, today's video is sponsored by High Tech Servos. I'll give you a little lowdown on the specs on this. All right, guys. So this is High Tech's new DB961WP High Torque Servo. These were more designed with the basher in mind, and these things have an all aluminum case servo. They are dual ball bearing. They're fully programmable. You can run these at 6 volts or 7.4 volts, and we'll show you the speed and torque specs on these. All right, guys. So here are the specs that are on the back here. As you can see on the speed at 6 volts, you got 0 0.18 seconds on 60 degrees, and on 7.4 volts, 0 0.51 seconds. And for torque, we got 550 kilograms of torque on these servos. Like I said, these are a full metal case. They were robust gear train with dual ball bearings, and uh, these are fully programmable and they are MOSFET driven. And they do have a whole new design now on their cases. Guys, I'm really excited to test this thing out in here. On the lighter outcast, this servo should really get these wheels moving nice and fast. And like I said, the other car we're going to do this on is my Typhon 6S. You guys know how much I love this car. And it still has the stock servo in here, but it is not steering correctly at all to the left anymore and that's what made me change my mind i was going to put it in the sledge but the typhon is in desperate need of a good servo well the first thing we need to do is get the old servo out of here so i'm gonna go ahead and get the old one removed out of here and i'll bring you guys back when i get that out one other thing i did want to note is these are a 25 tooth spline on these things so um they'll fit up with all your normal servo horns all right well we got the old servo torn out of here now time to go ahead and fit up the horn to the new high-tech one and get everything mounted back up again in here well, before we got everything disconnected, I wanted to show you the speed on the stock servo right here. Got my Spectrum transmitter here. And this is the speed on the stock one. And that is going full speed here. So, and the servo doesn't have much torque. For these tires and the grass and the deeper dirt, um, this thing just is not able to steer these wheels properly and get those things turning. So, this servo should be a good upgrade for this thing. I'm going to go ahead and get everything fitted up on the new servo, and uh, we'll see what the new one looks like. All right, guys, we got the new servo mounted up on here, the horn mounted up on it. And, guys, this servo is so smooth. feels so good. Can't wait to test this thing out. We're going to probably take this thing out once we get the servo hooked up and give it a little rip around the back parking lot here to show you the steering on it and how she handles. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, get everything mounted up in there, get it finished up, and uh, take it up for take a little test trip. All right, we got everything hooked up, and I uh, just wanted to show you real quick the wheels and uh, kind of the speed and the smoothness of this servo. And this is only running on 6 volts because this ESC will only do 6 volts. So you can kind of imagine what it would be do on 7.4. Very smooth. Great feel to it. Nice rebound. Let's get this thing finished up and take her out for a little drive. All right, guys, we got the outcast outside here. We're going to test out the steering. There. It is so smooth. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, the Outcast is handling great. I'm really excited with the smoothness and how nice the handling is on this servo. But we're going to go ahead now and get one mounted up in the Typhon 6S, and we'll crank that one up to 7.4 volts so you can see the differences between running it on 6 volts and 7.4, and uh, I think it's going to make the Typhon handle a lot better. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and get the other servo mounted up in the Typhon 6S since this thing is still running the stock servo in here, and uh, we're going to get the Typhon handle a little better and... I'll bring you guys back when we get her all installed. I won't bore you with the whole install on this one, too, but uh, bring you guys back when she's ready to roll. All right, everybody. Well, I figured I'd bring you in for a moment here. I'm getting everything switched over to the new high-tech servo. And, guys, I'm also installing this hot racing servo arm. The stock Spectrum stuff is a 23-2. Some cars are 23, 25. It all depends. Um, but these are a 25, so... Um, if you are switching over the servo, you will have to get a 25-2 servo arm. There's lots of them out there. You could do plastic, aluminum, steel, whatever you want to do. But uh, I am switching this out to this hot racing one. I did have an issue with one of these in the past, but I realized I wasn't able to properly tighten up the screw on the last one because it was already mounted up, which was kind of my fault. I should have pulled the servo out, but I'm going to give this another shot and install a new one of these and see how she works out on the Typhon. But we're almost finished up. We're ready to test Typhon out. All right, everybody. Well, the Typhon 6S is all fitted up. The new high-tech servo is in here, everything mounted up beautifully. And uh, guys, look at this. We're running this now on 7.4 volts. Um, the stock setting is 6 volts, and you can only crank up to 7.4 on the 6S and above as far as the factory ESCs. On um, the 3S and 4S, 
Unless something changed, you can only run those on 6 volts, but on the 6S and above, um, you can turn them up to 7.4. And look at the servo on 7.4 volts. She got lots of speed and torque on this thing. I don't think it's having any problem getting this type and steered in the right direction. But guys, we're going to go and throw the lid on it, take it outside, and give her a little rip. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we got the type outside here. And guys, she steers so nicely. Such smooth. The Typhon's got some power. This thing will do standing backflips. All right, guys. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the little video on the new installation of the new high-tech servos on the Typhon and the Outcast. And, guys, these servos are just handled. <laughs> the smoothness of them is just on another level. Really enjoying the handling of this thing. And uh, we're going to check out the torque and some bashing videos and see how they hold up and how they hold up down the road. And I'll definitely let you guys know how they, you know, how they continue to work out. But if you guys are looking for a good quality server, guys, definitely go check out High Tech. Really appreciate them sending these servos along and get to test some of them out and a couple of my bashers. But guys, that is going to do it. And I hope you all enjoyed the video, but that's going to do it for today. So until next time, y'all be safe. Be careful out there. Peace out, everybody.